My stylist Destiny always uses Style Factor products. Style Factor products give my hairstyles a strong pliable hold and keeps my hair in place throughout the day. Pick up Style Factor at your beauty supply store or check out stylefactor.us for locations. This is the Rumor Report with Angela Yee. Rumor has it. Rumor, rumor, rumor. On the Breakfast Club. So listen up. Nah, 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 nah. So Dan Reed is a director of Leaving Neverland, and he was on CBS this morning yesterday. And one of the things that he addressed out of the many issues uh, about the Michael Jackson film that actually debuts on Sunday on HBO. He talked about why he felt like he needed to do this, and he said it was not about Michael Jackson. Well, the allegations are directed against Michael himself, and of course he's, he's no longer around to, to, to defend himself. Mm -hmm. So we included the things he said while he was alive in defense of his behavior You know, during the two, 1993 and the 2003 to 2005 uh, investigations. Mm -hmm. And you know, he, he went on television and he, his lawyers made statements and we included quite a lot of that stuff in the... Mm -hmm. yeah. But did you not think it was necessary to hear from members of his family or his lawyers to react specifically to Wade and James? Well, this, this, this isn't a film about Michael Jackson. It's a film about Wade Robson and James Safechuck, two little boys who, you know, to whom this dreadful thing happened long ago. And it's the story of their coming to terms with that over two decades and the story of their families. Is that the lovely Gail King talking, by the way? Uh, on CBS this morning, yes. Yeah, drop on the clues bonds for Gail King. And uh, boo to that film director, okay? It's unethical. And I refuse to believe that those people didn't get paid. All right, well, we're going to get to that in a second. Mm. Now, Dan Reed also said he believes that their actions align with other victims of pedophiles who tend to form deep attachments to their abusers. And he said even after these alleged events, the director says they both were in love with Michael and continue to love him. Now, as far as the family, because the family hasn't seen the movie, and I can't blame them. Whose family? Michael Jackson. Okay. His family has not seen the movie. Here's what he said. Well, what does the family know about the sexual abuse that happened? Do you think they know about the sexual abuse? We know that the family and the estates and Jackson during his lifetime and his lawyers all denied that any sexual abuse took place. And those views are strongly Boo! represented in the film. <laughs> listen, man, this is unethical. Those two guys lied under oh, oath. Why should we trust anything that they say in 2019? You're absolutely right. They lied right. under oath. Perjury is a crime. Is there a statute of limitations on perjury? Uh, um, perjury? I don't, listen, this whole thing is, I'm not sure what. It's perjury. The it's legal a crime. reasons for whatever. I don't know if it's a situation where it's a pedophile and they're saying later on in life. You might, I don't know. But uh, here is what else Dan Reed has to say, because according to him, these accusers, Wade Robson and James Safechuck, were not paid. You know, I had no prior views about Michael Jackson. I, I had never taken a special interest in Jackson or in anyone famous. You know, I come from a background of making films about terrorism and crime. Um, and so I came to it with a completely open mind, and I certainly didn't want to stake my reputation on a story that didn't have a strong factual basis and that wasn't true. Um, so, so I did look, you know, throughout the two years of making the film, I looked for anything that could cast doubt or undermine Wade and James' story, and I found nothing at all. I found their stories to be very, very consistent. I found their families' stories to be very consistent with what they had told me. Were I they found, paid for the documentary? Did? They were not paid. They have no financial interest whatsoever and, yeah. and no future past or present interest. I refuse to believe they didn't get paid. They may not have got paid uh, as individuals, but somebody's LLC got paid. Because what other reason would they have to do this documentary? They right. swore did... under oath that nothing happened. Okay. Now, uh, let's move on and talk about R. Kelly. Jesus now, Christ. R. Kelly was bailed out by a woman who thinks that he's innocent. He doesn't know her? Valencia P. Love. She said she stepped up to the plate. She wanted to help a friend in need. She's a Chicago businesswoman. She reportedly covered that $100,000 bond that he needed. Wow. She said there are three sides to every story. Kelly's side, there's the alleged victims, and the truth. So she goes on to say... I'm not going to say it was my money or his money and he's not broke. He was going to post bond by Thursday anyway. He's my friend and I know he needed help. She said, I can't say that they're lying as far as the girls. And she said, I, it wasn't my money. I'm not going to say whose money it is. I can't condone any man sodomizing anyone or abusing a woman. R. Kelly told me he was innocent. If he did it, he is wrong. If he did it, that's wrong. He's telling me he's innocent. I wasn't there. She said, you weren't there. Give him the chance and allow him to prove his innocence. She was better off buying some young drug dealers in Chicago a few bricks for that hundred grand. She goes on to say that R. Kelly has only been a gentleman to her. 
Mm. She said the prosecutors and attorney general need to be prosecuting the priests that were sleeping with five and six year old children. Let R. Kelly have his chance in court to prove if he's innocent or guilty. That's big because I know a lot of people wouldn't have done that. And she owns all those businesses in Chicago. I'm sure people are not going to F with her business anymore. Yeah. And it's one thing to take, uh, you know, your friend's word. You know what I'm saying? Like if, if, if all you had was your friend's word and your friend was like, yo, I didn't do these things, you might help them out financially. But we, there's tapes. You right. know what I'm Very saying? confusing. Like, actual tapes. And she keeps on saying, well, he was going to get out anyway. He was going to bond out anyway. So she helped him out. That ain't true. That's he what broke. she says. Now, R. Kelly's gig in Germany actually got canceled after these charges as well. So he's still scheduled for some other shows, but reportedly they're saying some of those are in the process of being canceled as well. He couldn't How's go he anywhere. Make money? They took How's his he passport. Money? He's not. They took mm. his passport, so he couldn't go anywhere. 